humorous. Is Michael Jackson dead? I'm gonna start with my man Keith. Keith. Is Michael Jackson dead? You know, my, I'll say my grandma's always like, no, he's not dead. He's off on an island somewhere. And I don't know if she's joking or not. <laughs> Grandma, are you joking? <laughs> Keith, what do you think? I mean, me personally, I haven't seen him. Uh, <laughs> but um, I would say um, probably the, the human, yes, but his music will live forever. That's, clap that so. thing up. Well, that was, that's good. Keith. Hello, live studio. That was good. The music, the legacy lives on. Right. But Mike, what do you think? A shorter answer. I'm with him because I, yeah. I see that as a metaphor. I think he's actually dead. I mean, he looked dead before he was actually dead. Oh but um, <laughs> I'm just saying, there. like, his music, his legacy, that's what makes him immortal. That's what makes yeah. a man legend. Clap that up. It's true. It's true. Uh, now, I did see a video in 2009 when he passed. Uh, he was someone in a parking structure, and he, someone dressed like him got out of a corner's van and got into, like, a limo and sped off. <laughs> Is there, could there be any validity to that video? <laughs> it's as debatable as the Patterson-Gimlin photo of 67. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that. What are you, what are you, you don't think? So Mike is saying no. Uh, it, it couldn't be. It couldn't have been. Mike, it had to be a, a stunt double or someone impersonating him. And there are a lot who actually look like him. That's true, they get work um, done too, look right. like Right, yeah. so, but was it the actual Mike? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Mike, I, if you're still out there, Mike, we love you on the last talk show. Can we clap it up for Michael Jackson, the king of pop? Let's go, let's go to the next one, that was fun. That was fun. Cultural analysis, the most iconic category of the show where we look at tweets as Keith, I'm sure you know Twitter is crazy. Mm -hmm. Twitter is its own world. There's right. no filter, there's no censor. People do whatever they want. It's the video drone. On Twitter. Uh, Mike, you don't have a Twitter. No, I do not. Keith, do you have a Twitter? I don't. Oh, that's good, okay. So they're gonna see some of Twitter in its raw form. And we're gonna analyze some tweets. Let's go to the first one. Uh, working at Best Buy is a blessing and a curse. Cause that discount we get is crazy good, bro. But because of that discount, I'd be buying unnecessary bleep. Cause why not? <laughs> Uh, your thoughts on this, amigos? Live studio, hello, are you with me? Okay, he's going. Uh, I think this tweeter brings up a good point about when you work at a place and you get a good discount. Mm -hmm. And it tempts you, because it's like, when I was working at the Chick-fil-A, House of Chicken, uh, I got a good discount. Chicken. And I would purchase more food than I needed. <laughs> and it would go to play, you know. <laughs> so, so let's go with Keith. Keith uh, in general, have you ever had a job where you got a good discount, but it kind of worked against you at a time? Unfortunately like not. That's good. <laughs> I wish I had a, a, a job where I could have gotten a discount. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, I guess the only discount I got, I, I worked at Church's Chicken when I was like 20 years old. Yes! And I ate while I cooked. <laughs> ah! So you were to get, that's awesome. it out. That's, that's awesome. I mean, unfortunately, I got fired because I forgot to change the grease. But oh, so we were cooking. How dare you fire everything? Me. We were cooked. I accidentally cooked okra and French fries and chicken all in the same grease for about a month. And now look at you. You're better than Church's Chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Now you're better than Church's Chicken will ever be. <laughs> Mike, let's get your thoughts. Uh, have you worked at a place where you got a discount and it kind of worked? against you i will tell you one thing though like at, at the at the place i'm working at right now it's like i get a free large pizza every shift with limitless fountain drinks and that's what this tweeter it's a blessing and a curse it ain't, it ain't no curse <laughs> and that's free double pepperoni pizza and fennel sausage man with bacon and jalapeno well, you don't you need that move, every you know? shill <laughs> well, what's, what's the problem don't you care about diabetes and well, you can't that that, that that that's that doesn't exist. See, that's that's debatable too. No. <laughs> okay, okay. So both of them I, I do want to go back to Keith. Uh, live studio, you should have laughed. Mike made a great point. It was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> no, well, Keith, well, boo you too. <laughs> I wanna go to Keith. I wanna see. Uh, you said you got fired from churches. What was that like? Well, first of all, what, what was it like working for Church's Chicken? It was terrible. It was terrible? It was terrible. Um, because the, the grease flared up my acne. Oh. Um, and then I, I wasn't good at the domestic stuff. I wasn't a great <gasps> bathroom cleaner at the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wasn't even a good cook. So. <laughs> yeah, you just, it was a job, a job. <laughs> it was just a job. Yeah. So yeah. when I got fired, they did me a favor. 
Clap that up. And like Mike said, look at where Keith is now. Thank God. He yeah, made no, church. like, no, yeah, yeah. He's so above that. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah I mean, I, no, no disrespect to those that work at Church of Chicken. Uh, we, we do appreciate you. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah. You're going to be firing people because you you you're green. It's like. <laughs> I mean, everything tastes like chicken, so. <laughs> right, right, right. At churches, right. everything tastes bad. Uh. <laughs> My teenage nieces and nephews told me Twitter is for old people who have opinions that no one cares about. Uh, audience, how do you feel on this tweet from Queen P or PQ? Okay, uh, I'll start with Mike. Mike, do you believe that Twitter is for old people who have opinions that no one cares it's about? It's more for Facebook. That's more for Facebook. That's more Facebook? Yeah, that's more Facebook. Okay. Twitter is like, nah, it's, it's tweeting. You got all kinds of people tweeting all kinds of crazy stuff on yes. there. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it ain't for no old people. No. Twitter ain't for old people. Yeah. <laughs> Keith, what are your thoughts? I actually agree with Mike uh, yeah. as far as the, the Facebook thing. I think yeah, there are more yeah, there are more baby boomers on <laughs> yeah. Facebook the boomers than there are on Facebook. anything. So, yeah. um, but you know, teenagers now, they really don't listen to older people anyway. So true. why should she care? Yeah, when that they is ever so did. true. Clap that up, live studio audience. Let me get some thoughts on that. Uh, Wow, okay, live studio audience is really uh, struggling. Thank you, James, uh, for clapping instead of the live studio audience. Um, I think it's significant that uh, the, the niece and nephew told this person that. You know, so young people view Twitter as you know an old person's thing, but it really isn't. There are a lot of young people on Twitter saying crazy stuff. Right. Old people are normally on Facebook. That's a strange dynamic. These must be people. nieces and nephews like that really don't know about social media much yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the next tweet. Uh, if the live studio audience, I wish they'd clap it up, but I'm guessing uh, the live studio audience is uh, tripping right now. Uh, Netflix sucks. Can anyone recommend anything good on Netflix? Movies, shows, documentaries, whatever? Uh, I don't know about this. Uh, let's start with Keith. Keith, do you think Netflix sucks? Not at all. Um, yeah. I mean, I did ransack it throughout the pandemic. Right. But, oh yeah, me too. But you know, then once you have different uh, categories to choose from, I Ooh. mean, like the documentary, actually, oh, those, it, documentary like, those are great. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, I mean, the one that actually caught me most recently was uh, 13th, oh, from the 13th yeah. Amendment. 13th Amendment, Oh yeah. man, that yeah. was, that's some great it's information. Riveting. Yeah, You know, yeah. and um, it just literally, really lets you know, like, how strategic our our country was, right? And, with, with you know, what? trying to minimize greatness on those that didn't look like them. Yeah. So clap that up for Keith. That's a very good point. Let's go to Mike. Mike, do you believe Netflix sucks? Yeah, I see. That's another topic. But uh, Netflix at one point was at, it was the greatest streaming service of all time. He had old shows yeah. like the '90s Spider-Man on. He even had Jimmy Neutron on there. Yeah. He had all the great shows. Yeah. Batman Beyond even. Yeah. But a uh, Columbo. Yeah. But um. No, ever since everyone's doing a streaming thing now, even like, what, Starbucks has a streaming thing now? Oh, yeah. Starbucks has streaming? I think so or something. Oh, or they're going to no. think about it or something like that. Boom, Starbucks. <laughs> but no, it's just, yeah. they've really declined. 